Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at the New Age H27 Octavian and City Commander. City Commander being the just the white Prime bot, and Octavian being the combined Ultra Magnus. Pick these up at TFCon. Here's a few pictures of the box, but let's go ahead and get started. As usual, we're going to start with accessories. He comes with a few hand options. You've got, in addition to the, the holding hands that he comes with installed, you've got some posing hands or happy hands and some pointing finger hands. They're both sculpted nicely. Uh, nothing to write home about, to be honest, but it's nice that they're there. He comes with two different blasters. Both are just done in white plastic but detailed well enough. And then he comes with a third blaster for when he's just in Optimus Prime mode without the armor. This is your typical Prime blaster done in black plastic with some silver accents there. And that brings us to Ultra Magnus or Octavian or City Commander. Whichever you want to go with. And he's actually pretty impressive. I'm going to be honest. The Prime is what you've come to expect with the mold. It uh, has no transformation differences or anything like, anything like that. But the trailer does look really good. He comes with the white and red missiles that you would expect with the character. But we'll go, take, we'll go ahead and take a look. Now, it's important to note... He does not do a full turn. It only turns to about 45 degrees, just due to limitations with the, the mold. But you've got nice white paint throughout, uh, blue for the windows, silver for the grill and headlights, and the red bumper, which is typical for the character. View from the side, you've got the chrome windows, or sorry, chrome wheels, some gray accents for what should be the fuel tank, and black plastic tires. Here's a view from the top. And coming down the trailer, lots of sculpted detail in this. I was really surprised. It looks really good. You've got all the sculpted detail here, everywhere to be honest. Again, plastic wheels with chrome hubcaps. There's the view from the back. The trailer does have a significant lack of paint, but I don't think they could do much and still have it look good in bot mode. The back does open. These are tight and supposed to stay down, but they don't. But you can't open it. Now, sadly, it is not big enough to house a car, and that is how far they will extend down. But we'll bring in just Jazz for an example. Definitely way too big for the new age jazz even sitting on top it's definitely out of scale which is unfortunate but i can see why they would have difficulty doing that but overall he looks tremendous to take the trailer off you need to separate the legs and it becomes two different units at that point you got regular prime and the trailer and sadly no feet to to have the trailer stand up
and here we have Ultra Magnus in his unarmored mode. Looks pretty fantastic. Painted throughout, but let's take a good look here. You've got some nice teal on the crest and the faceplate, red for the eyes and silver for the for the actual face. A uh, head can go up all the way. Uh, down, not much. You do have full rotation and not much for attitude, but it's there. A little stiff. Coming across the chest, you've got brilliant white throughout. Shoulders can go all the way up. Do a full 360. You've got 90 degrees worth of bend and a secondary bend here too. So you can definitely utilize that to get some more articulation. But it does break the sculpt a little bit. Uh, for the chest, you've got some blue transparent plastic. And it looks really good. Now, the chest doesn't open, as you would expect, which is disappointing. But there are, due to this mold being different, there is a cutout for the chest. It's just very difficult to get to. It requires definitely a spudger, but you do have the matrix of leadership in his chest, which is nice. Uh, very difficult to get in and out, but it's cool that it's there. And the reason they did this is so you could open the chest in full armored mode. But going on, you've got silver for the grill on the abdomen. So nice teal across the, the crotch. Uh, you've got the Ab crunch that you would expect in full rotation. Solid, solid piece for the front, which is disappointing. Does allow you to kick more than 90 degrees. And you do have some play with that. You can drop the hips down. Give them a little bit of a taller look if you want. Uh, the back hips do move out of the way as well, giving you the ability to move all the way back. And all the way out to the side. Uh, you do have rotation on the thigh. More than 90 degrees on the knee. And the feet, you've got up. Not much down at all. But all the rocker you'll ever need. So overall, very nicely done. Uh, sculpting on the legs is done decent enough. You've got a lot of detail there. The back is kind of messy. I don't know why they have this one tab red and then all the gray is just plastic with white being painted on. Nice silver for the, the tanks. I really do wish they could have incorporated the tanks into the alt mode rather than having the bottom of the feet fake it as the fuel tanks. But That's minor. So let's get him ready for the armor. Essentially what you're gonna need to do is undo and then redo some of the stuff that you did to get him into prime mode. You want to undo the hips. Go ahead and bring them down and get them out of the way. Ultimately, what you're doing is trying to, to flip these. So, you're going to flip the shoulder pieces. So, in order to do that, we have to get this out of the way. And then flip the shoulders. Bring the arms around and they're going to so once you've done the rotation of the shoulders 
We want to put these back in place. Just like they were. Now, it's important to note the head won't go down in there anymore because of the wheels. So, bring it back. You want to adjust it to where it lays flat. And this piece will come up like that. And lastly is the arms. You want to rotate them. I like to have the back of the hand up and then lay them down on the shoulders using this joint. And now he's ready for the armor. So let's get the armor ready. You want to go ahead and separate the legs from the arms. Now you can go ahead and separate this connection here. Bring the get the missiles off. They're tight, so just be careful. Very tight. Just make that explode temporarily. Go ahead and undo the connection here where the blue connects to the red with that part separated. Lift up the red panel. That allows you to take the hip piece out. Go ahead and disconnect the thigh armor, which is just pegged in there. And separate these two sections. For the legs, this will stay in place. That rotates up. This rotates up and folds up. Bring the wheels down, rotate them on the ball joint, and bring them back up. That's ready for assembly now. As far as the arms, Go ahead and bring them back, rotate this section 180 degrees, and bend this to where the two white sections peg together. You can now bring the fist down, disconnect it here, and pivot it up to create the arm. After pivoting the head down, we have a full armor piece ready to go. So let's make Ultra Magnus. We're going to go ahead and separate this for now. Preferably be keeping those side pieces in. We'll start with the legs. This will actually peg in as you slide it in. And also there's a connection here on the red. Push that in tight. And wrap the foot around. That's one leg done. Slide it on. Peg in the back. And wrap the foot around. You want to bring in the torso section. Now it's important to note there are pegs on the bottom that go into the peg holes there inside the torso. So bring those, bring that in, line it up. Push it down. There we go, midsection's done. And lastly, let's bring in the upper body.
these will simply slide on pushing the head down in the groove and then there are peg holes that correspond with the pegs there on the side of the truck So there are pegs that correspond with the holes in the legs. And now we have a fully assembled Ultra Magnus. So let's take a look at the figure. I do enjoy the face. You've got the white painted face with the blue eyes. White for the antenna. It does have motion. It can look up to there. Not much down, but there's some. No, well, you can get a little bit of attitude. If you pivot this neck joint up, you can get a little bit more down and maybe a little bit more attitude. So that's nice. And it will do a full 360. Shoulders, you've obviously got the arms for the truck mode in there. I wish there would have been a way to cover that up. A little bit disappointing. Uh, arms can do a full 360. They can go up to there with just that one joint, but there's a double joint that allows you to bring the arms up almost to 90, which is nice. Uh, we did add the Rockets on, you got red plastic and white plastic. Definitely adds that Ultra Magnus look. Elbow gets you well beyond 90 degrees. And the wrists do allow for a little bit of movement, not much. So that's a little limited. Uh, you've got the full 360 on the waist. Looking at the waist or the chest, you've got blue plastic. For the majority some of the white is painted like these sections here but the majority of it is white plastic but the 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 bottom of the elbow appears to be painted and that does rotate by the way which is a gripe because it is really loose i'm gonna have to put some kikis in there um you can see the separation of the colors in the chest where they went from red plastic to painted plastic which is disappointing uh, coming in here you can open the chest as we talked about earlier and this allows you to then if you can do it open up the matrix chamber fully which that's really that's a really cool feature the engineering that allows that to happen is pretty phenomenal uh, you do have some ab crunch not much but it's there and this is another issue that I have at least with mine the whenever you manipulate the waist this section is going to want to pop off which is disappointing uh, white paint for the, the front of the crotch that does lift up Allowing you to see the white prime underneath. Now you can manipulate the legs to get a full 90 up. There's no cover on the back flap, which still allows you to get the full 90 back. And you can still get the full out. Uh, waist rotation on the thigh remains. Again, you can pivot that hip down to make them a little bit taller if you want. You've got the white plastic for the leg covers. Coming down to the leg, you're still able to get a little bit more than 90 degrees, which is pretty phenomenal. Uh, you've got the detail on the front now. All the detail remains on the side. Got your faux wheels. 
on the side as well. Now, one thing with the faux wheel connection, that provides you with your ankle tilt, which is really nice. Although there is no up or down motion on the feet, it's just the rocker. There's the view from the back. Lots of kibble back there. And you can definitely see the robot underneath. That's okay. I'm not going to display them from the back though. We can also bring in our, our guns. Now these will fit in just the prime mode, but it's really, really tight. The connections on the hands are bigger in this mode. So it definitely allows better use of the weapons. Going into the final thoughts, what can we say? Uh, he's a very well put together, thought out, and engineered figure. Uh, the paint that's there is fantastic. Articulation is actually phenomenal for a character that is basically a parts former. I mean, you've got all the articulation you need, really, except for a toe up and down. So that's impressive. The sculpt does look like it came right out of the, uh, the movie. And it's impressive. Uh, negatives, a little bit loose joints. Um, I wish that the hip section would stay in better. So that might be something for them to improve on in future models or releases. Back does have quite a bit of kibble. And I wish they had a, a cover for the, the shoulders. It just doesn't look right with the arms just laying there. Other than that, a terrific, terrific mold. I know there are several iterations of this character of Octavian on the market available right now and this is somewhat of an older figure I've just got late to the review table for me anyway but it's fantastic I got mine directly from the Chosen Prime at TFCon so definitely check out their website to see if he's still available if you haven't already please like the video subscribe to the channel and don't forget to get your bell on thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time